Hi, this is Alan Edge, and I'm reading for West in Two Trains Running. First will be a dialogue with West in Memphis, and last will be a monologue from uh, with West. Thank you. I see they lined up out here. Yeah, yeah, I finally got it laid out just like they want. And they're over there trying to rub on his head. I got it roped off, but then they dug right up under the rope talking about they didn't see it. <laughs> I ain't been over there yet, but Holloway say they got all kind of jewels and hundred dollar bills in the casket with them. I don't know how they got started. That man ain't got nothing but uh, a couple of rings that go across he wear and two hundred dollar bills. He got one in his breast pocket and one wrapped around his finger, tucked and glued in his hand. <laughs> You ain't glued the man's money in his hand. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't learn something in this business. <laughs> I can't tell you how many rings and watches and, and whatnot have disappeared. <laughs> I know you ain't gonna put that money in the ground. I bury anything with anybody. <laughs> You'd be surprised what people want in the casket with them. I done buried people with uh, Bibles, canes, crutches, radios, <laughs> a guitar. I, one lady brought some tomatoes over from her sister's garden. Now, she didn't just want to put them in there. She wanted to tell me where to put them. And that wouldn't have been so bad, but she kept changing her mind. <laughs> uh, people something. They don't understand about dead folk. Dead folk don't know nothing. They don't know tomatoes is in there with them. <laughs> I put the family do. That's what's important. Yeah, it took me a while to figure that out. But I'll put anything in there they want Long as the casket closed. <laughs> Is you going to put that money in the ground? That's what I want to know. Well, most of the time, the family, they come in and get the money before you close the casket. And they take off the rings and everything else. Oh, God. I hate to lay people out with jewelry. <laughs> they come around every day to remind me that I ain't supposed to go in the ground. <laughs> How did they say that was over there taking up a collection? Say that was charging the man to see him. I put a stop to that. I don't like that kind of thing over there. Or I stopped him from doing that. <laughs> yeah. I you, uh, what they said you downtown there? I ain't went yet. I got to go down there tomorrow. I'm going down there and see what they offer me. For it. I ain't taking a penny less than $25,000. <laughs> they ain't gonna give you no $25,000 for this building. It ain't worth that. They're gonna look up what you pay for it and double that. <laughs> they figure anybody be satisfied with that. <laughs> it's hard to argue against that. A lawyer can't even argue against that. The most they're gonna give you is ten, eleven thousand, twelve at the most. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I ain't taking a penny less than twenty-five thousand. They ain't gonna give you twenty-five thousand dollars. Something they're gonna tear down. I don't know how niggas think sometimes. <laughs> Look, I told you, I'd give you fifteen thousand dollars, cash money. We can go right on down to the bank right now. Fifteen thousand dollars. You draw it out any way you want it. Hundreds, twenties. Nah, nah, I ain't taking a penny less than that $25,000. You watch what I tell you. They're going to double what you paid for it. They ain't going to give me no $10,000 on top of that. They ain't giving me my bill, and I figure that $25,000 is cheap. They're forcing me to move out, close up my business. Well, I figure they ought to pay something for it. I don't care what the bill is worth or how much I bought it for. They got the right of eminent domain. They don't care what you think. They can go anywhere in the city to take any piece of property they want. The city council has been voted to take these whole 12 blocks over. They're getting seven this year and five next year. And they ain't going to let you stand in their way. Talk to Phil Ball down the street. He sold me his property. He know they wasn't going to give him what it's worth. Give me $25,000 and you can have it. I told Put you. Put it I, in your other property and go down there and get 50 for it. I told you I'd give you 15. It ain't worth no 25 to me or nobody else. I ain't taking a penny less than $25,000. Yeah, well, I <laughs> don't say it. I didn't warn you. You're going to be surprised. Let me know if you change your mind. We can go right on down to the bank anytime you want. <laughs> 
You hear that, Holloway? The man owns so much property around here, the city gonna go broke trying to pay him for it. And he trying to hustle me. Hell, if you offer me 15 for it, I know it's worth 25. Thank you. Might be able to get 30. Good. Thank you.